we're going to have a look at the squares and cubes of numbers. Squares being something like 7 squared and cubes being something like 6 cubed. Let's look at them in a practical situation. The area of this yellow square, when we're asking for the area of the square, we're asking how, much of, how many of those little squares make up that big yellow square. We can see that the square has a side length of 5 units, and so the area of the square will be 5 multiplied by 5, because that will tell us how many of those little squares are there, and the answer to that is 25. And we write 5 multiplied by 5 as 5 squared. So 5 squared is the area of a square with a side length of 5. Now, considering the same square, but just viewing that side length of 5 as being made up of a 2 and a 3. Well, what will the area be? We know it's just going to be the side multiplied by the side. So it's going to be 2 plus 3 multiplied by 2 plus 3, which we can write as 2 plus 3 all squared. Now, one of the things we actually want to ask ourselves today is, is this going to be equal to 2 squared plus 3 squared? Well, let's have a look at what 2 squared looks like. It's that red square, right? The area of that red square with a side length of 2. And 3 squared is the area of this pink square with a side length of 3. And we can see if we put together that red and that pink square, it doesn't make up that area of area of those don't make up the area of the yellow square. In fact, they're missing this little piece here, which is 2 times 3, that rectangle, and the area of this little piece here, which is 3 times 2. So, very clearly, 2 squared plus 3 squared is not the same as 2 plus 3 all squared. If we want to work out what 2 plus 3 all squared is, we need to add together the 2 and the 3 to get 5, and then square it and get 25. We can't just say 2 squared and 3 squared. We have a very similar story when it comes to volume. The volume um, of a cube is length times breadth times height, so it's in this case 5 times 5 times 5, and that is going to be can be written as 5 cubed, and 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. In a similar way, we can see that 5, the side length of the cube, as being made up of a 2 and a 3. So the volume of the cube would then be 2, that orange cube, would be 2 plus 3 all cubed. Is it the same as 2 cubed plus 3 cubed? We'll have a look at the picture. 2 cubed is the volume of that little blue cube with a side length of 2. 3 cubed is the volume of that green cube with a side length of 3. And you can see quite clearly, if you put those two volumes together, it doesn't total the orange volume. So what we have is a picture as follows, right? When we're busy working with squares and cubes, and we have two things added together or subtracted, we can't just square each of them individually. So if we want to do 1 plus 5 all squared, we might be tempted to say 1 squared plus 5 squared, but we've just seen that that is not true. When we saw that picture of the area, it isn't true that you can just square each of them individually. What you have to do is add together the terms in the bracket first so that you get 1 plus 5 is 6, then you square it and you get the correct answer. In a similar way, one might be tempted to say, well, 4 cubed minus 3 cubed, you know, we can just do it by saying 4 minus 3 is 1 and we'll get 1 cubed and then get Again, it doesn't work like that when you've got addition or subtraction. You've actually got to go and work out each term individually and then combine them. So what you've got to do is say 4 cubed is 64. 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3, is 27. 64 minus 27, that gets you to 37. And 37 squared, well, you just have to work out 37 times 37. 